In this video, we will learn about a new visualization library in Python, which is Seaborn. Although Seaborn is another data visualization library, it is actually based on matplotlib. It was built primarily to provide a high-level interface for drawing attractive statistical graphics such as regression plots, box plots, and so on. Seaborn makes creating plots very efficient. Therefore, with Seaborn, you can generate plots with code that is five times less than with matplotlib. Let's see how we can use Seaborn to create a statistical graphic. Let's look into regression plots. Let's say we have a data frame called DF underscore total of total immigration to Canada from 1980 to 2013 with the year in one column and the corresponding total immigration in another column. And say we're interested in creating a scatter plot along with a regression line to highlight any trends in the data. With Seaborn, you can do all this with literally one line of code. The way to do this we first import Seaborn, and let's import it as SNS. Then we call the Seaborn regplot function. We basically tell it to use the data frame df underscore total and to plot the column year on the horizontal axis and the column total on the vertical axis. And the output of this one line of code is a scatter plot with a regression line, and not just that, but also 95% confidence interval. Isn't that really amazing? Seaborn's regplot function also accepts additional parameters for any personal customization. So you can change the color, for example, using the color parameter. Let's go ahead and change the color to green. Also, you can change the marker shape as well using the marker parameter. Let's go ahead and change the shape of our markers to a plus marker instead of the default circular marker. In the lab session, we explored regression plots with Seaborn in more details, so make sure to complete this module's lab session. And with this, we conclude our short introduction to Seaborn and regression plots. I'll see you in the next video.